I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Sileti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 6.28 from the chapter number 6. So the problem is design a counter with the following binary sequence. The sequence is 0, 1, 2, 4, 6. That means whenever we have 0, it will go to 1. Whenever we have 1 as the present state, it will go to 2. So whenever we have 2, it will go to 4. Whenever we have 4, it will go to 6. And after 6, it will go again to 0. And we have to use here D flip flops. First of all, we'll make the state table for this design. Okay, solution. So here we'll have present state, next state, and respectively for this present state and next state, we'll find out the flip flop inputs. This FF means flip flop. Okay, flip flop inputs. Suppose here we have the present states are A, B, and C. The next states are A of T plus 1, B of T plus 1, and C of T plus 1. These are the suppose next state. In this problem, we have to use D flip flop. Okay, so here we'll have D A, D B, D C. Now let us write down the present state. So for 3 bit, here we'll have 8 combinations starting from 0, 0, 0. It will go up to 7. So for finding out this next state, we have to see this sequence. Okay, so whenever we have 0, it will go to 1. Okay, so here we have 0, 0, 1. When we have 1, it will go to 2. That means 0, 1, 0. So whenever we have 2, it will go to 4. That means 1 0 0 okay whenever we have 3 we do not have this 3 use state okay so what will happen so we have to consider this is don't care it can be anything because it is not given in this sequence then we have 4 so when we have 4 it will go to 6 so it will be 1 1 0 next we have 5 so 5 is not there in this sequence so here also we'll have don't care conditions or don't care values then we have 6. When you have 6, it will go to 0. So 0, 0, 0. And for 7, we do not have this 7 as the use state. So here we'll have don't care, don't care, don't care. Now we have to find out this flip-flop input values using the excitation table of D flip-flop. So for D flip-flop, we know that whatever we have at the input, it will be the output. That means whatever we want in the next state, it should be the input at this value. So this da column will be exactly same the the next state values of a okay similarly for db this column will be the replica here and for dc this column will be the values so here we'll have 0 0 1 don't care 1 don't care 0 don't care similarly here we'll have this 0 1 0 don't care 0 1 0 don't care then we have 1 don't care, 0 don't care, 1 don't care, 0 don't care. Next for DC, we have to see this column. So this will be exactly similar to here. Okay, so here we'll have 1, 0, 0 don't care. Then we have 0 don't care, 0 don't care. Okay, now we have got this state table. And from this state table, we have to find out the expressions for DA, DB and DC. So that we can make the design. So let us find out this expressions for da db and dc so for that we have to find out k map for da okay so for k map for da we'll have a three variable map because we have three input variables a b and c so here we'll have 0 1 a b c 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 so here we have to put the values of da here okay so 0 0 1 don't care 0 0 1 don't care then we have 1 don't care 0 don't care 1 don't care 0 don't care so here we can combine like this so this will be the second term so here we'll have d a is equal to this term is a b bar a b bar plus this combination we have it is a bar into b a bar b so we can write it as a xor b so d a we have got it to be a xor b so now we'll find out the k map for db k map for d b so here we'll have also a three variable map 
सो हियर वी हैव टू पुट द वैल्यूज ऑफ डी बी सो डी बी इज जीरो वन जीरो दोन के आर वन दोन के आर जीरो दोन के आर सो हियर वी हैव जीरो वन जीरो दोन के आर एंड वी हैव वन दोन के आर जीरो दोन के आर ओके सो हाउ यू कैन कॉम्बाइन सो दिस विल बी वन कॉम्बिनेशन एंड दिस विल बी द सेकेंड कॉम्बिनेशन सो हियर विल हैव डी बी इज इक्वल टू फ्रॉम दिस टाइम वी हैव ए बी बार प्लस फ्रॉम दिस टाइम विल हैव सी ए बी बार प्लस सी सो वी हैव गॉट द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर डी बी नाउ लेट एस फाइन आउट फॉर डी सी नाउ के मैप फॉर डी सी सो हियर ऑल्सो विल हैव ए थ्री वेरिएबल मैप सो हियर वी हैव टू पुट द वैल्यूज ऑफ डी सी सो डी सी वी हैव वन जीरो जीरो दोन के आर जीरो दोन के आर जीरो दोन के आर वन जीरो जीरो दोन के आर जीरो दोन के आर जीरो दोन के आर सो हाउ यू कैन कॉम्बाइन सो वी कैन नॉट कॉम्बाइन सो दिस विल बी द वन टर्म सो डी सी इज इक्वल टू दिस इज ए बार बी बार सी बार ओके सो वी हैव गॉट द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर डी ए डी बी एंड डी सी बिफोर डिजाइनिंग लेटर्स चेक वेदर there is a lockout condition for this don't care conditions if there is no lockout condition then we can directly design this circuit okay so now we will consider this a new state that is this one is the one a new state this one is the second a new state and this is the third a new state so suppose here we make the table here again present state next state okay and the flip flop inputs okay so so here we will have the anew states we have to consider so they are 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 okay so first of all we will find out this flip flop inputs this da db and dc da is a xor b da is a xor b that means this is the a this is b a b c a of t plus 1 b of t plus 1 and c of t plus 1 okay so da is a xor b so here we'll have 0 xor 1 so it will be 1 it is 1 xor 0 it will be 1 and 1 xor 1 it will be 0 and db is a b bar plus c so whenever we have c 1 okay for all these cases c is 1 so we can directly say that db values will be 1 for all of this so 1 1 and 1 next we have this dc dc is a bar b bar c bar this a bar b bar c bar will be one only when all of them are zero so here for all these three cases we do not have zero 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 so here we will have zero only zero and zero so this is the next step so q n plus 1 is equal to d because for d flip flop the characteristic equation is that is the next step of output will be equal to the d input so this columns will be similar to this column so da will be the a of t plus 1 column so here we we'll have 1 1 0 1 1 1 next we have 0 0 0 0 0 now we can say that if by any kind of noise signal or interference if we it, if it happens to be an anew state that is 0 1 1 it will go to 1 1 0 that is this is 1 1 0 means 6 so 6 is a u state okay here you can see that 6 is a u state similarly for the second case also if we have 1 or 0 1 that is 5 by any kind of noise signal then it will go to the next set 1 1 0 that is it will go to 6 that is a u state okay so we need not to do any kind of self correction next we have 1 1 1 that is 7 when we have 1 1 1 it will go to 0 1 0 0 1 0 means 2 okay so 2 is a u state okay as per the question so we need not to do any kind of self correction so if we design the circuit using this equations this circuit will automatically recover or it will automatically correct if we have any anew any of this anew state okay if we see this state diagram what will have so from this table we can see that whenever we have 0 1 1 and 1 0 1 1 0 1 it will go to the next state that is 1 1 0 1 1 0 okay so whenever we have 0 1 1 it will go to next state 1 1 0 and when we have 1 0 1 also it will go to next step 1 1 0 but whenever we have 1 1 1 it will go to the next step 0 1 0 0 1 0
and this 0 1 0 is a new state okay so this circuit will automatically correct if there is a, a new state occurs at the output now let us design the circuit using this inputs okay da db and dc equations here we have to use three d flip flops so let me draw it first suppose here we have one d flip flop so it will have a d input da suppose here we have this clock input suppose this is active low clock input and here we have suppose second d flip flop so this is db this output is a a complement next here we'll have now we have to make the input connections as per the equations of da db and dc so we can see that da is a xor b db is a b bar plus c and dc is a bar b bar c bar so da we have to find out by the xor operation between a and b so take a line from a okay take a line from b do the xor operation between them okay here we'll have a xor b okay this will be connected to the da input next we have for db db is a b bar plus c so this line is a so take a connection from here a b bar so b bar you take a connection from here okay so multiply them because we have a b bar it is a multiplication so you say and get here okay so at this output we'll get a b bar and we have to add this with c Okay, so take a connection from C. So this is the connection C and we have to add. So you have to use a or get here. Okay, so here we'll get A, B bar plus C. So this will be connected to the DB input because DB expression is A, B bar plus C. Okay, next we have DC. So for DC, we have A bar, B bar, C bar take a connection from here this is a bar this is a bar so the here we have this is b bar line okay take a connection from here so this is b bar this is a bar this is b bar okay a bar b bar c bar so take a connection from c bar okay so make them inputs of a and get because we have in multiplication operation so here we'll have this is c bar so here we'll have a bar b bar c bar okay this will be connected to the dc input now let us connect this clock input so these are the synchronous clock signals okay so here we'll have this clock input so here we'll write c l o c k so this is clock signal and here we have this outputs a b and c okay so this is the circuit design for the counter with a sequence of 0 1 2 4 6 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you